Okay, I had some uh, bumbles coming up in the cup and that usually indicates that the cone is not seated all the way. So what I did was I tightened up the head right here with the nut uh, or with the uh, wrench that they give you with the airbrush. And that eliminated the bubbles coming up in the cup. What also was happening that was causing it to dry inside the nozzle before it hit the t-shirt which was giving me difficulty spraying. Now that I've tightened it up, the spray pattern is a lot better and I'm able to get my uh, paint to flow better. As you notice, the off the nose, the first coming up and as it comes around the nostrils, it curves around into the side of the, the nose and then into the cheek area. And the pattern kind of goes like this little S curve on there and same around the eyes and around the top of the eye it'll start to turn up. I'm not going to make you watch all the white. It'll, it's going to take some time to put, put it all in there. But again, like I said, I'm not filling it in completely. I'm leaving uh, brown coming through. Uh, it also, because you don't want to paint it completely white. There's brown in the fur already, but it also gives you a better depth not to make it all solid white. So we'll paint a little more and then I'll jump. I also like to work all over. I don't, uh, that way it gives me an overall sense. I'm using the medium length dagger stroke and I'm going in both directions a stroke up then a stroke down that gives me more fill a little bit faster Okay, as you can see, I've got pretty much all the white areas of the fur that I wanted to fill in. Uh, I've tried to keep it loose uh, because we'll be working on the detail more as we go along with the color and then going back in with some white. 
Um, as you can see, the fur I turned here. You can see the shape of the jaw coming around. Then the neck area is a longer fur and it's mostly a downward pattern to the fur there up on the side of the neck and then the ear is very soft and loose. Now we're going to start working in some of the highlight areas in the horns and uh, continue from there. And for that I do want to adjust my easel down so I'm not reaching too high. First we'll start We'll lighten this area around the pupil. And I'm not using a fill stroke, I'm adding a little texture. going to be a highlight up on here. Okay. Do not worry too much about details and highlights too much yet. Alright, let's adjust this and uh, I'll get started on the horns. Okay. This again is all going to be with the white right now. <laughs> 